So we're a few days after you live off, a few days, it's the weekend, and I got a lot to do. I just, I just recorded Mesek Mole, my, well, he voted because he's a South African citizen. My wife is too sick, she got us too, too sick, she's like, she out of it, so she couldn't even go. Anyway, uh, uh, so I'll, I'll maybe I'll put a link, i post this down, post this thing right here, put a link in so you can hear what he has to say about the stuff. But real quick, this is about elections, very simple. Um, um, he's talking about certain things. There's so many parallels between elections in the United States and, and South Africa and I guess all over the world. It's really kind of interesting. Um, but I would just like to say this. I'll make this real short. The parallels are so striking that you have to believe, especially what's happening in the world, that these folks are all working together. In other words, yes, the system of Anglo-racist white supremacy is real. I know a lot of people don't want to, or you're in your little bubble, or you're in your little area, and you don't think it's, it applies, it's, uh, they're happening over there, it's not happening over there, whatever. It is all real, which, is, which has a, a real good advantage. The advantage is that if it's all real, if people on the ground could really understand that it's a global system, what, what you do in whatever election you're doing matters every place in the world, especially in the United States, because, you know, they have ramifications all over the world. Anyway, a lot, a lot of places all over the world, right? So it's very, very important um, that we uh, that we get. Let me put it this way: I think, especially from the uh, point of view of ADOS, I think it's really important not only that we activate and start yapping about stuff, but we almost have to go into campaigns, be be a, 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 a spy in a campaign to see how that system works. Now, I'm not talking about not to be some presidential candidate. It could be just a local candidate, just to see how the system works. And then you can relate it to other systems because everybody's talking now. We're just talking. But we should be comparing notes, talking points. But to have, be informed, not only do you, do you read and, and, you, and you know you can follow Professor Darity and, and his wife and what they're, they're doing, you know, and, and that kind of thing. Or you can follow Antonio Moore or, or Yvette Cornell and what they're saying. But for your own sake, you have to look Look at what they're saying and research it for yourself and how it applies to your local, to lo your local situation. That's what I'm trying to say, right? And by, 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 and you can see it in your local situation. It has to, that has to come from someplace. It's almost like all these people have the same marching orders. You ever look at major TV? They all they talk about the same, 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 same things. Let me give you one, one, one little example. And this is kind of strange, because you know I'm, I'm sort of a politically understanding whatever happened. But Bernie Sanders made a point. And one of his things when they were talking, uh, I guess it was also Ro Connor talked about this too. Everybody talked about healthcare free. They, they talk about free healthcare, free healthcare, free healthcare, whatever they, you know, whatever they're, they're talking about. But a point that they made was that you know if you have universal healthcare for all, it doesn't. You can keep your same doctor, but more importantly, you don't have to have your same job. If you move to another job, you still, you still have health care. If you have health care in your job right now and you move to another job, you lose that health care. So the, the freedom, just to forget that. I don't understand why that's not a talking point. With, with universal health care, you can be any place or no place and still be covered. It's a simple point, but yet and still, if you if you get the framing of of the of, of the uh, corporates and and uh, mainstream media and even. The, the, the candidates don't have enough sense to say, look, you talk about that, we've covered that, let's talk about the real issue. The real issue is blah, 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 blah. But they, I don't know why they can't do that. Why are they always cooperating with these people that's asking them asinine questions or the same questions that they get, they get every place. Look, as arts director of WBA, I used to do uh, film, um, film reviews, yeah, film reviews too, but I used to do uh, uh, interviews with authors. And one of the greatest compliments that, well, a lot of authors, and what happened with the authors, they were on these tours, and they only spend so much time with you because they got to run to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. And so a lot of the times, the, the interviewers, they don't read the book, they just, they have these talking points that they get in the, the press release sends you some stuff and you can ask them about this, this, and this, and they just read off of that. So therefore, you, so the authors, they don't like it because they get bored, blah, 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 blah. So usually when they came to BAI all the time, especially when, when I was running, they, they loved it because we asked, first of all, we read the books, <laughs> blah, 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 I forgot a note. So somebody sent me a card, some woman was doing, she sent me a 
a card from, she was in D.C., something like that. She, had been, she sent a card all the way back and said, I, I really appreciate your interview and blah, 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 blah. So what I'm trying to say, if you go with the talking points, if you don't go for yourself, if you don't have your own interview techniques, then you're, you're, you're going to be doing, you're going to be followed by what everybody else does. And that's the problem. And that's the, that's the problem with the mainstream media, the, the uh, let's call it citizen journalism, they used to call it that. You know, anybody can stick a cell phone in somebody's face and say, hey, what about ADOS? But then you have to have the, the facts. When they say, oh, well, we can't, you say, no, yes, you can because blah, 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 blah. Or you got that, 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 that. You see what I'm saying? So we all have to do that. <sighs> Boy, I'm all wound up because this is, this is, this is, well, it, it is what it is, as they say, as Yvette says and everybody else says. It is what it is. And I'm saying what I believe it is. <laughs> I big me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from ADES, of the ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery.